If you're traveling to Rome, you're in for an incredible trip. Beautiful artwork is everywhere, and there are so many ancient structures that you could spend weeks here and still not see them all. Today, we're going to visit two of the most famous wonders, the Colosseum and the Roman Forums. Situated right in the heart of Italy's capital city, both the Forums and the Colosseum are some of the most visited attractions in the world, receiving almost 8 million visitors every year. We learned a bunch while taking our tour that can really help you get around. So, let's check it out. At the Colosseum, we just did a guided tour. It's been pretty cool. Um, yeah, really cool, actually. I don't know if you can really grasp the size and scale of everything here, but it's uh, it's pretty amazing. I'll give another shot here for you. Always amazed at uh, what um, they were able to do back in the day, lifting these stones and um, the size and scale of the structure. It's all really amazing. This is definitely a place where a guided tour can help you out a lot. The Colosseum is the largest standing amphitheater in the world, even to this day, with almost 2,000 years of history to discover. There is so much to take in here that having an expert show you around will make sure you don't miss a single thing. The crowds can be pretty dense here too, so moving in a group can be a nice way to get around if you aren't as comfortable with squeezing your way through on your own. So we are at the Coliseum, we just did a uh, guided tour, um, still um, have the, what else are we doing? Uh, Palatine Hill. Palatine Hill, um, very cool, it took about, I don't know, two hours? No, that was about an hour. Okay, maybe an hour. It just felt like two hours. <laughs> but uh, going through uh, the Colosseum and seeing stuff that you've seen so many times in uh, movies and uh, you know, History Channel stuff and things like that, it was really cool to be in the um, actual place and the actual location um, and to uh, see all the, the, the stonework and how big everything is. Really, really, really impressive. Had a blast. Can't wait for the next thing. After lunch, we were off to check out the Arch of Constantine, Palatine Hill, and the Roman Forums. Just feet away from the Colosseum is the incredible Arch of Constantine. This massive archway was built for Constantine the Great sometime around the 300s and serves as the inspiration for many different arches around the world, including the Arc de Triomphe we saw back in Paris. This thing is the largest arch in the whole city, and historians believe that as it was being built, certain parts were even taken from other arches around town to make this one even more impressive. It marks part of the Emperor's Road that leads past Palatine Hill, where we would be going next, all the way down to the Roman Forum, where we would finish our day. Palatine Hill was where most of the royalty made their home in Rome, and we hooked up with another tour to learn all about it. Um, so the, the form, uh, sorry, the, not only did Rome begin up here on top of the Palatine Hill, it's also where all the emperors of Rome lived, apart from Nero. Nero's palace started just the other side of where the Colosseum is now, finished all the way over where Termini Station is. Very impressive Nero's, but so was Domitian's. Domitian was the son of Vespasian and the brother of Titus. You definitely know those names because those are the two that built the Colosseum. So after Titus came Domitian, and Domitian built a huge palace up here on top of the hill that covered literally the whole hill. And the whole palace was completely covered in marble inside and out. You wouldn't have been able to see one brick. All the floors were covered in marble, the walls were covered. The roofs were made out of marble slates supported by wooden beams. So it would, would have appeared at least that Domitian's palace was made out of marble. He also had his own private stadium inside his palace walls for him and his friends. A small stadium had around 500 people. It had a running track with a gladiators arena in the center. Around the outside, they had two balconies. Each balcony would have had two rows of seats, marble seats. The women would sit at the back, the men would sit at the front. And it gets better for the men as well, because each of those marble seats at the front would have had its own individual hole. 
I think I think you've guessed, but we'll just say they wouldn't have missed any of the games. Okay. So while you're processing that, follow me this way. So I just mentioned that our college started here on top of the Palatine Hill in the 1950s. The first archaeological digs in Rome weren't until the 1920s, the first major digs under Mussolini. Uh, and it was the forum where they started. He had uh, around, uh, started, had around 300,000 workers dig out the forum in only seven years. So Mussolini's work was rushed. And it wasn't just digging out the forum, it was covered in buildings as well. Now, we mentioned the marble and how it was recycled. They weren't so sentimental about those things then. They also built on top of a lot of ancient Rome. Mussolini's work was rushed, like I said, and archaeologists complained. They complained even more because he built a road right on top of what he dug up, the road that goes right down the centre of the ancient city. I'll show you it in a few minutes. Some of you might have taken it to get here today. Famous story about that road just before the start of the Second World War. Hitler came to visit and Mussolini wanted to show off the huge army he didn't have yet. So he gave a parade along that road. He'd march his troops up one side, make them change uniforms at the end and march back the other way. <laughs> and I'll show you that road in a few minutes. In fact, we'll head over to that balcony overlooking the Forum now. The view is incredible. You're going to want to stop and take photos, and rightly so. But if I could ask you just to follow me for the time being, we'll find a nice spot for all of us on the balcony. And we're going to finish the tour up there so you can take lots of photos at the end. So if you're ready, this way. The Spanish word for outside is fuera. Italian is fuori. It means the word Forum comes the Latin word. It's the Latin word for outside. Okay, so, but it was kind of the downtown of Rome. The building you see opposite there with the free art space, uh, with the broken side wall, that was the, the financial centre, the bank, if you like. It was built on top of the original bank that was built there by Augustus in the first century. As you see it today, it was started by Constantine and finished, uh, sorry, started by Maxentius but finished by Constantine. The first Christian building uh, in the Forum, the first official Christian building in the Forum, there's a building down there with a bell tower on top with the green doors on the front built in memory as you see it today. well it was actually been rebuilt as a church then it was originally the temple of romulus not the twin i told you about earlier but the son of the emperor augustus the first emperor that name became very popular after that legend the two pillars either side of that doorway there are made of a rare marble you'll see all over the city called red egyptian pottery and i just said a rare marble you'll see all over the city well it was only found in one mine in Egypt. That mine was exhausted by the Romans, and it's all here. They say about four and a half thousand euros a cubic centimetre at that price. Both of those pillars you see down there are solid. One of my colleagues estimate each pillar to be worth around 60 million euros. <laughs> each pillar. That road you see behind that square where those trees are, that was the road that was built by Mussolini, um, right on top of the form of Augustus. Behind that road, you'll be able to see there's that column there. Trajan's Forum there, Trajan's Markets, Trajan's Column. Traj there was a 30 metre tall hill there that the Emperor Trajan had completely levelled off so he could beat all that, build all that there. The, the column was built to celebrate Trajan's victory over Darcha. I say many emperors tried to conquer Darcha, they all fell into the Emperor Trajan. He failed on his first attempt, on his second attempt, he sent, at the beginning of the second century, he sent the biggest army sent yet by any of the Roman emperors, over 100,000. He conquered Darcha and had that column built in memory of his victory. If you're over in that direction, make sure you have a closer look at the column. The detail is incredible. It documents the victory, well, the base documents the failed attempt, but the top part docu documents the victory over Darcha or Romania. Put the uh, Palisades. Palantine Hill. Palantine Hill. And this place is huge. Um, it's only a 45 minute guided tour that we took, which is the shortest guided tour we've taken so far. Um, but this is probably the biggest site that we've been to. Um, we're still on top of the hill. We haven't even gone down to like where all the buildings and everything are at yet. So I can't wait to get down there. Um, and they've built monasteries on the old buildings, on the old ruins and stuff. It's right behind me here. And in front of me here. And over there. So this place is huge. Today's been amazing. I thought it was gonna be a short day, but we've spent the entire time here and at the Coliseum, which has been awesome, by the way. Um, it's really, really cool to see all these structures and things that you've only ever seen in movies and um, we took the guided tours, so we actually got to get a lot of cool information on what things used to be like when the 
people were here and um, what the buildings were used for. So um, it is a lot of walking. If you're not used to that kind of stuff, I would definitely suggest bringing some good shoes and some good socks. I wore dress socks today with uh, my runners and uh, I'm wishing I wore something a little bit more comfy, comfier, like my hiking socks. But uh, all in all, great day, great food. Rome is awesome. And uh, we're gonna be heading down to uh, Pompeii, so make sure to uh, check that video out because we're gonna be doing um, Pompeii, uh, Mount Vesuvius, and the Herculaneum. I think I said that right. All right, take care. Tickets to the Colosseum are $28 or less if you're an EU citizen and include access to the Roman Forum and Palatine Hill. Once inside, your ticket is good for 24 hours and you're going to need every bit to properly explore all three sites. I would recommend using as much of that time as possible to take in the thousands of years of history on display here. You won't regret a single minute of it. If you like this video and you want to see more, then hit that like button and subscribe. And share this video with all of your friends. That is the best way to help our channel continue to grow. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe and have a great week.